don't know. I guess that's just the way this figure is. Oh my god, he exploded! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I've had a few Dragon Stars come apart, but I don't think I've ever thoroughly exploded one. Today on the channel, we're going to be unboxing Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This is a Dragon Stars figure from Bandai. Yes, pretty cool looking figure. I did buy this from Amazon. It was a warehouse deal, so I got it pretty cheap. The box is pretty smashed up. Um, it was so bad that I couldn't even really stand it up. So I had to kind of smash the bottom in a little bit to get it to stand up here. So <laughs> it's been thoroughly smashed. Let's just say that. But... You know, the front artwork still looks pretty cool, and hey, I'm just happy to get the figure. So, there's the front of the box. Let's flip it around to the back. There's the back. I need that Android 17 so bad. I, you just can't find that one. Just unavailable. And then, I don't know, usually on the warehouse deals, they put a warehouse sticker, but they put this on there for some reason, right over Goku's crotch. So, I don't know. <laughs> And they did the same on his other crotch. They're like, hmm, that's a perfect place to put these, dude, this, uh, these barcodes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's the top. And you can see where it kind of got ripped right there as well. That's the Dragon Stars logo. And the bottom is a bunch of uh, warnings, things of that use, that, of that use, of that type. <laughs> Let's bring the camera back. Take a closer look at everything on the box, the old smashed up box, and we will get it completely unboxed. There's that Dragon Ball Super logo. There's your Bandai, Bandai Namco 4 Plus. Other side is your warnings. It's kind of smashed down, but there you can read it if you really had to. Um, yeah, there he is. Goku Super Saiyan 3 and his big hair in the back is going to have to be installed. And then he's got his um, instant transmission fingers blast hands and he's got his punchy fist installed it's very cool i love the artwork on the front of this it looks great and the back dragon ball super dragon stars and there's one of my favorite figures right there cell final form i love that figure and i'm hoping this super saiyan 3 goku is pretty sweet too and like i said gotta get me an android 17 i've got 18 but not 17. so i hope they re-release him at some point there's the bottom of the barcode and legalese all right let's Let's see, let's just put it here, and well, you know what? Usually there's a piece of tape here. It's okay. Let me tilt down and show you what's going on here. I didn't even realize that this doesn't have any tape. This is untaped. That's really weird. And it doesn't look to show any sort of, like it used to have any tape on there. Got one on the top, right? Kinda. I don't know, this could have been a return and then got smashed, who knows. As long as he's complete, I'm happy. All right, so I'm not gonna have to cut any tape because it doesn't have any. That's interesting. So, all right, before I do rip open this box, um, just wanna say if you're liking this video, if you give it a like, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that would greatly help. Uh, hey, with that on my shelf out a ton, if you could subscribe to the channel and you'll get a ton more uh, uh, action figure unboxings in your feed every week. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have a fun comment, uh, that would be greatly appreciated as well. With that said, let's get Goku out of his box. There we go. All right. Oh, what the? Why is that there? Huh? I, maybe that's like instructions on how you're supposed to snap it in. I've never seen, it's always just been like the electric effect in the back. This, they printed the hair here. Um, okay. <laughs> that's different. All right, let's get that hair out. There it is, very pearlescent-y. And then the hands. Instant transmission fingers on the forehead. There is a blast effect hand. Another one just like it. Let's get Goku out. It's gonna get noisy. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's get that hair installed because he looks really goofy without it. His head is like, I don't know. Like it's really smashed in right there. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is. 
you can see the ball joint down inside of there. That's just the way this figure is. Let's put the head back on, huh? <laughs> there we go. Let's snap that hair back on. Okay, so it just looks like it's like a little rounded piece that goes into here. You know, it might be easier to do it with his head off. Let's do that. All right, it should just snap right into here. That is a luscious mane. It's kind of spiky, kind of hard on a few of these. Kind of digs into your hand a little bit, pushing that in. But there it is. That is quite the head. All right, let's get the head back on. And I see why his head is down. That's the only way the hair fits. Now, if I get, there we go. Wow, it's really down though. Like, almost goofy down. Something like that. Um, I don't know. I guess that's just the way this figure is. I mean, I kind of... Oh my god, he exploded! <laughs> oh no! Uh, I've had a few Dragon Stars come apart, but I don't think I've ever thoroughly exploded one. That was that was that was something special right there. All right, I do get a little rough with these figures. I will say that. But let's put the hair back in. Oh my gosh! Maybe I didn't get it in all the way. All right. Then he's got his belt. Which way does it go? Looks good that way. Pop that up in there. He's back. He's back. All right. Yeah, I just wonder if his head really does have to be that smashed down. As you can see, it almost kind of like twirls back into the body. It would have been better if it kind of twirled out just a little bit. I don't know. This is uh, this is a little more funky than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty straightforward. Snap the hair on and be good to go. Hmm. Let's see. It just really is. It almost looks better with his head not snapped like his head a little higher. Like that. But that's not snapped in. Ugh. I can get lined up. I can't get it lined up. Are you supposed to really... Okay. There we go. So I am just going to try to install it like this. It is much harder to get that in there though. See how his head just kind of comes down? There, if you kind of... Oh no, I think I pulled his head off again. Yeah, this is a little, uh, this is a little much here. A little more than I thought it was going to be. See if I could pop that head back in. Okay. Nope. I can get in there. Okay. It's unfortunate because I think he looks super awesome. See, his head has to. It's this piece of hair right here that's causing his head. Because it's nice and up here, but then when you have to plug it in, his head has to go down into his chest. So the only thing I can think of is down the line, maybe kind of sanding this off. Kind of kind of maybe dremel some of this off of here so that it'll actually sit right. Because it, I mean, his head has to be so far down. It's almost ridiculous how far down his head has to go. So I'm not going to try to push it up again because that's that's just how it is with the way it plugs in. You can see there's no space there. There's plenty of space in the back, so that's not the issue. That's what I originally thought the issue was. It's where it plugs in. It's hitting his shoulders real bad. So that's he can't put his head up. He's always going to be looking down. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, I will probably modify this because I was driving in the Like it's not plugged all the way in. Mm. Yeah, so, and the instant you try to bring his head up, then it unplugs his hair in the back. So, 
I mean, it is what it is for now. We'll get through the video, but um, at some point I would like to sand that down and see if I can make him be able to lift his head up would be nice. All right, so as far as head articulation, that's it. You're gonna get a little side to side with the way that is right now, smashing against his shoulders. And there's just a little bit of movement like this. So that's it. That's a little disappointing. But I'll make it right. All right, so you got a peg going on a rocker there for the shoulder. Let's get a focus lock going so we don't keep going back and forth. And then you do have a bicep cut. You got double jointed elbow, a double jointed elbow right there. And then you've got your ball joint on a rocker for the hands, same as the feet. Um, there's his, whoops, put the leg out. That happens. And the other leg. So when I thoroughly exploded him, I didn't get the leg just pulled out, but now they did. So now I feel like he's been thoroughly destroyed. <laughs> Taken apart, I should say. Yeah, I can't get his leg to pop in completely. There we go. Now it's it. All right. Oh, every time I go to spin the uh, <laughs> spin the body, I knock the leg off. <laughs> Get one leg in and the other one pops out. Some Dragon Stars are so much better than others when it comes to this. This is a real pop apart type figure. I'll tell you that. Let's see if I got it in. Okay. So instead of trying to hold the legs, I'm gonna try to. It's hard because his hair is right here. And try to hold him down here. There you go. So there's just that ball joint right there for his waist. And then the legs you saw was a ball joint going into that sleeve that allows for the like the thigh movement. It popped out again. Now I think what the issue is is somebody didn't like the way that this head sat and they returned it. So this was not only a smashed box but also probably a return I'm thinking. And that's why he's probably popping out all the time. The more you play with these um, and they pop out and stuff and you have to keep popping them back in, the, the looser they kind of get. So I'm thinking that's the issue. I'm not too worried about it, uh, but I do need to do something about that head. It's driving me nuts. All right, so there's your legs again. Uh, it does have a jo double jointed knee, goes to about there. And no, no boot cut there, but there is the ball joint on the rocker there for the foot. So he's, he will be cool. Let's say that. Let's, let's say he will be a cool figure once I figure them out. Now, I paid all of $10 for this figure, so I'm not too worried about it. That's like more than half off, so it's not like I broke the bank on this figure. Otherwise, I probably would have returned it too. So, I need, okay, he is very top heavy. And that's gonna be hard to kind of pose, but there he is. Let's bring the camera back down like this. Yeah, I think that's the big deal is I will have to kind of modify it to get him to be able to put his head up. So I don't know if that was just an oversight on Bandai's part or or what, but he definitely doesn't look right with his head always down. So there's everything you get in the box. It's Goku and his big hair and his three hands. We'll wipe that away and throw some other figures by him. Oh, real quick, I just wanted to put uh, this Super Saiyan Goku next to him. I don't know, is he taller? No, it's just that his head is down and I can't make his head go up, so. It looks like it's the same body mold and everything, just a darker color of blue and orange. This is the uh, Power Up Pack uh, Super Saiyan Goku. But yeah, he only seems way higher because his neck, his head can actually be up. That's the comparison of another Goku. All right, let's get some other figures next to him here. Here's the Super Saiyan Vegeta. And Majin Buu. Let's see if I can get him in a decent. He could put his head up, that's for sure. I need to kind of push him back. I'd like to get Piccolo in here too and call that a crew. All right. Not the best Majin Buu pose. Alright. Yep. 
just wish that head was up. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but for the posing, I, I, I don't really have time to really mess with it today. So at some point, I'll probably try to show it off, but probably not going to get to it today. So there is your Super Saiyan 3. Bleh. Let's try that again. Your Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, actually, before we start the posing, just wanted to throw this video in there. I did do some dremeling, and his head is up a little bit better. It's not perfect, but I chunked it so much that it looks really bad in the sides here. You can see how much I took off there, probably too much in an, in an area, but his head can go up more. I feel like it's a little bit more usable now where before it was just way too low so at least now his head is up but boy I had to chunk a lot of plastic out of there and you can see where it looks really bad where that hole is right there this side's not as bad but I can show you what I did so I chunked all of that plastic out you can see it, it used to be up let me get a focus it used to have I mean it was down to here with plastic, right? I mean, it was so full of it, but if I take any more out, it's gonna look start getting really weird looking. So I will say, final verdict, verdict on this figure, if you can pass on this, I would pass on it. I hope, hope, hope they re-release one in the future that, see, the problem is where, where this plugs in, it's like facing down. They need to do one where it plugs in straight out, right? And then you won't have that issue of it just hitting against everything and I know they could manufacture that I think this was just a just an oversight on how how bad this extra plastic down here is gonna hit the back of his neck and stuff so yeah um, I would say unless you feel like doing a bunch of chunking plastic off of the Dremel um, I would avoid this figure I really would I'm I'm okay with it that I paid ten dollars for it um, it's not the worst thing in the world. If they ever do do a re-release, I will get it for sure. And then I can, I don't know what I'll ever do with this, but, um, oh my God. <laughs> Remember he was a return, like a, a, he keeps falling apart so bad because he was a return, but boy, I, I just don't like this hair piece. It just doesn't work at all. So if you can avoid Super Saiyan 3 Goku Dragon Stars, I would. And let's see when it was created. What's the box say? When did this come out? Let's pull back. This came out. I'm about to get a focus going. I am seeing a date of... Gosh, I'm not seeing a date. Um, 2023. Okay, so that's, that's not too long ago. So hopefully in the next couple of years I'll redo it because this was a... Uh, this was the first Dragon Stars I would say is a fail. Just, I don't like it. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Uh, it's just, no, this one didn't work out. So, if you can avoid this, I would. I don't know. Like, the legs and stuff doesn't bother me. This is pretty normal stuff. It's the hair. It's it's the uh, the way they didn't really really come together and figure out a good way to get this to hook in so yeah like if you dremel it out like I did at least he can have his head up a little bit it's just really unfortunate because it could have been a super cool figure so all right let's go to the posing now thanks for watching <laughs> 